So here's a, here's another thing I do. Just a, a little hack I learned at another event um, years ago. Um, it's called the Noun Project. Oh. And the Noun Project is basically a project that is trying to give uh, an icon for every single thing in the universe. Well, shoot. I was looking for icons the other day. And so this will give you an icon for, as it says, search for anything. And so uh, do anything. Give me a word. Done. How about peas? We'll get to that one next. So, you put in apple. Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. It's going to click in and they're going to load. Um, so, here are some apple icons. And uh, so, all of these are available for free for download. Um, it has like a little an attribution text. Um, and also, you can only really do it in black and white. If you give them $36 a year, like four dollars a month or whatever it is you can then download it into any color you want um, as well as you know get you know you don't need to do attribution on it anymore as well I'm um, sorry the next sorry next what's another word peas peas I bet there's some an icon for peas I bet there's loads of them let's find out there are hooray all different styles and they come into different collections so you can say like Show me all, like, some of these are just going to be, like, the vegetable collections. Do you, like... Uh, gourmet pea collection. Exactly. I want this one. Ten different icons of gourmet peas. So it's ridiculous. Truly anything you want, it's in here. And then you get to sort of choose your particular style. Um, and, of course, there's an app um, which can actually speak directly to um, both PowerPoint and Google Sheets, which is really nice. You can just say, like, oh, drag it into your system. Um, and so, you know, it's the exact same interface here, except now because I'm a paid person, I get to choose either colors I've defined, or I can actually go into like the color picker, um, which is always nice. So you say like, yeah, I actually want it to be this particular blue book. And then all you do really is you drag it out to your desktop and you have a beautiful giant uh, icon and that is lovely. And you'll see you can set the size to get pretty ridiculous. You can set it from vector formats like a PDF or a PNG. Um, and it's just really nice because sometimes you're just doing a presentation and you just want a friggin' icon. And you just, it needs to be generic. And it's, and it's, so it's really nice for that. Um, this is not the fanciest thing in the world, but for me, it's really helpful. Um, just be able to say, like, in my brand color, I need a picture of an elephant because I'm creating like a poster and I need a generic elephant. Done. And I don't need to overthink it. They have chinchilla icons. <laughs> without, without having to do it. Just saying. <laughs> the thing that brought you into community all those years ago? Yeah. So it's it's kind of ridiculous, but I think it's just a really valuable mm -hmm. service to be out there in the world because you can dare it to say do you, is that a thing that they'd have an icon of? And most likely they will. Well, if they have chinchillas, they have everything. So did you add the loom and...